Survival Evolved video on PS4, just kind of showing what me and my friends have been up to. Um, we haven't played Dying Light recently because we've been waiting for the content drops that, you know, obviously were promised quite a while ago. Um, we've just been waiting for those to kind of hit and then we'll, you know, re-download the game from our library and possibly start checking into that. But we have been busy, busy, busy on ARC. Um, so yeah, this is, this is Peter Griffin, ha, <laughs> ha, this funner, uh, um, okay, so this is our in-cave village city today. Um, I'm gonna kind of be going through, you know, maybe giving you guys some ideas on what to do, on what your community and what your tribe can do if you work hard enough. This is not something that you can that we put together um crafting a lot of things we did use admin commands on some of the stuff so i said to point you guys but um i'll give you kind of a little rundown of why we were playing on a server with another gentleman who was renting a server from nitrado and he was kind of being unfair he wanted us to start over all the time and then he would admin command himself and things and and make us grind. So we started from level one and worked our way up to the eighties and hundreds and it was just oh, how many times we had to restart. So I went ahead and rented our own server and we left that guy in the dust, do his own thing. If he wants to do that, that's fine. We're not gonna be a part of that. So we we got our own server going now. This is this is our server. Um Granted, I pay for it, it's still, you know, me and, and the two friends, the three friends that I have that play this, um, granted, you know, they don't have to pay anything, it's still their servers, but as much as it is mine, I'm trying to be fair on that end. But actually, to be perfectly honest, only me and one other person built this, all of this, using MA command. And I will leave his name down in the description below, he plays a lot of Call of Duty, he plays a lot of, uh... A lot of arc as well. Um, might even be starting up his, you know, his own version of what I'm trying to do today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna kind of take a tour of this place, provided the arc doesn't have its infamous crash on me again that happened in it. To properly, you know, give you guys a tour of the place. I was just kind of running around. So this, uh, we'll start off. Um, this would technically be considered the land entrance. Um, and I can go up to the door, uh, the, 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 the gate here in a minute, but this would be the teleporter where the main entrance is. You have a little booth with the new tech lights. I like it so much. I have it rigged up to, uh, I have all the exterior lights rigged up to a panel all set to zero. So if need be, if it's dark or if it's daytime, you can shut all your lights off and it goes it covers the whole cave. It's not, there's no radius on this thing, I believe. If it's in loaded distance, it'll turn it off if it has a pin code set to it. But, yeah, so that is exterior lighting figured out. We have a garage. It, the text is kind of hard to see on these signs, but if I had it any lower, the sign would really flash a garage where I also have it rigged up to a pin to not only open the door. See what I'm saying? The leg? The leg in this? Okay. That's weird. Okay, so this... That was supposed to have turned these lights on and opened up the gate for this garage, but I don't know what um, Unless I'm a dummy and just hit deactivate. Which I did. Okay. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to open up the door, and it's supposed to turn on those lights. And then, and then you hit deactivate. Okay. Now that we got that figured out, uh, Noob City. This is, uh, a good friend of mine's horse. Not, uh, not mine. Mine is up here. Um, but this is our stable. He has his stall, which of course, I have mine. And inside, in case we forget the numbers, Codes turn on lights and whatnot. I put it up on a sign in there, and we have a keypad to remote turn them all on. Oh, and a little 
in our Jerboas and Otter. Um, I put them in the cage <laughs> because they kept uh, lying feces everywhere and this is their punishment for doing such things. It's not sanitary. This is our workshop. Not that tower is like a little VIP uh, landing pad, but this is our workshop. This is the loading dock, a waiting area for uh, an unfinished waiting area. There will be chairs and uh, a little desk right here with a chair and a door that goes back into the workshop. Just for people, you know, eventually we would like to get to the point where we we can have other players in here. Potentially, not, not so much random people who have malicious act intent. Just people, you know, who we meet along the way with you know, with our arc experience. So this is our little little uh, warehouse shipping receiving area. And it's actually designed to cater the mount. There's lighting in here as well. Um, then you can of course access your mount, pull whatever you want off of it. There's stairs that go up even higher for an aerial effect to where you can have your you're out flying around, you make a stairs, you can come in and drop it right off. You don't have to run all the way outside to drop off your resources. And don't do what I just did and get stuck because if you don't have a tech jetpack, you're not gonna be able to get out. Which Again, thank God for my fans. Okay. We have some vaults for some extra storage. And inside is the same. Have vaults for all of your crafting needs as a community workshop should have. And we have here our smithies, our chem benches some more vaults for sulfur and gasoline. We have our grinder, our industrial forge, and two fabricators with four extra vaults for extra storage. Silica pearls, we ended up getting quite a few of them, and I'll show you why and how we ended up getting that. Um, we did not get them by using the anglerfish, because we found it quite frustrating how the anglerfish has a very terrible range of motion. It does not, it's not very agile. It'll swim itself in an entire circle before it actually does what you want it to. So it actually has a waiting room for, again, this is community based. People can come in, have the receptionist. Those hours are not accurate. I am not on Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I actually do work full time. Um, so this. This is the waiting room for that. So we're gonna go ahead and go back outside through the front door, and that would be that would be the gist of our little workshop we have going on. We do have some four little lodges there and an elevator. Excuse me, and then a little elevator surrounded by a greenhouse um, for effect that goes up to our tech transmitter. Um, we're gonna add more up there later on. Um, and, and figure that out. But we have been quite busy, and, and just to give you guys a little teaser on potential videos in the future, I can tour and give you guys some ideas. These are all of our locations so far. We have branched out all over Ragnarok. For good reason. They have a purpose. This is our vault. I'll get into that. I'll get into all of these in a later video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what we've been up to. Um, and, and possibly, you know, like I said, motivate you guys to do some cool things and give you guys some ideas. Because I haven't seen some ideas like these. You know, that's the best part about art is you don't see the same thing twice unless someone copies it. So I just want to kind of give you guys some ideas on what you guys could do if you guys put in the time and effort or have admin commands on. I don't encourage admin commands. Again, it was just because we had to restart so many times and I wanted to kind of give everyone their... One of these guys was ready to quit, because it's ridiculous how he had to lose everything. All of his tame dinos that he worked so hard for, all of his breeding, and all of his eggs, and all of his 
You know, it's, that's a lot of things to strip from somebody. And I'm not talking one, two, three, or four times. I'm talking ten plus times. We gave this guy, well, I only gave this guy about four times. And that was just from transitioning from his player dedicated over to the the actual server on, I, I believe we went on the island on Primitive Plus. And we restarted that a couple times and ended up, he ended up doing something. He didn't know what he was doing and it wiped the save. And then we had to start over a couple times on there. And then we ended up going to his rented server where he again, um, right when Ragnarok was going to come out and he was going to switch the map over anyway to this. But we were going to upload some stuff to the obelisk and bring it over because we had actually worked hard for this thing. There was no admin commands on his except for him. He had the password. He wouldn't give anybody else it. And he was using it for himself. He denied it even though we've seen him having uh, alpha... Tamed Alpha Wyverns and Tamed Alpha Rexes, you cannot get those without admin commands. So you can't fool anybody on that matter. I know how admin commands work. I experimented with them a lot on Solo, so I know exactly how they work. And now, obviously, with all of this, um, I knew how to do it. But I didn't do it for myself. I did it to give the community a jump start. This is not just all for me and my friends. This is for the whole server, which is why I figured it would be okay to just, you know, give people the jump start they need to get back into the game and then worry about what they should have been worrying about if they hadn't restarted ten times. You feel me? Okay. I'll get into the vault later. We have a cove. The cove should be self-explanatory, kind of, maybe not. Um, it's a gigantic water pen, basically. That's all that is. Um, I did not build that. I added a couple little things to it, but my homeboy Mike, he actually put that together quite nicely. Um, small dinos can, or small little fish dinos can still get through the pillars and everything, and I'll show you that later on. Or even Mike might end up posting a Twitch or a YouTube stream, and he can go over that with you. And he, since he built it, he could tell you how. It's quite time consuming, even with admin commands, I will give you that. A lot of trial and error with your pillars and a lot of trial and error with your design but he figured it out he got it together it's pretty cool i'll check that out in a later video we are currently obviously with x's okay we have some necessities we figured once admin commands get turned off once we get caught up to where we want to be where we should be i love that i believe i left admin commands on for about three four weeks on behalf of working so hard, not being able to get on or you know, pull up my tablet and check it out. Every time I would pull up my tablet, you know, people would be on. I'm not going to like, hey, get off so I can do this and ruin whatever you're doing. No. So I just waited, you know, until I wasn't working so much overtime. And I also had a lot of, you know, real life things going on. I had to put the video gaming on the back burner for a little while. Which I still do occasionally, which is why I haven't uploaded videos in so long. Um, I'm just trying to get my foundation of my life strategized and form a formable plan to get where I want to get for me and my fiance. And my fiance is trying to become a YouTuber herself, not for video gaming like me, but vlogging and like makeup and special effects but also you know some creepy pasta story things so you know i highly encourage you guys to check out her video she's a little camera shy yet if you have to break her and not be too harsh much appreciated she um she's gonna have some good solid content for you guys and i know not for maybe not for you guys who are maybe checking this video out because obviously you're checking this out for um, video game purposes but I believe her YouTube is Ghostly Ghoul 13, possibly. I could be totally mistaken. I will try and leave her YouTube link in the description um, once I figure out how to do that because I'm still learning the process of YouTubing. But, okay. Back to ARC necessities. So, me and my homeboy Mike, we put together, me and him, just the two of us, put together every single one of these locations. I put together one or two of them maybe three, um, with his, you know, his insight and whatnot, but honestly, this was, a, this was me and him, 
me and him sat down over the course of however long the service been up, um, probably going on two months now. We we put our ideas together and we we just work really good together. We don't have conflicting theories. Like we theorize things and then add little insertions into the conversation for ideas and theories and just things that you could make the idea better and we put together some really cool things and I'm actually quite proud. I can't even believe some of the things that we put together. Um, like this village. I can't I can't really believe that we actually put this together. This is this blow this blows my mind quite often actually. We have these four lodges. They're the two lodges are identical. The first two are mine and his. This one's mine. Um, my little lodge. And obviously, since we only have four people, we only built four lodges. They can obviously, you know, they're not part of our tribe. They, him and his brother have their own tribe. The other two guys, the other two gentlemen that we play with. Um, one of them is actually in here right now. He's a really cool guy. Check him out. Um, on PSN, he... I don't really know what all games he plays, to be honest. I know he plays Ark. He plays DCUO. I used to play that as well. Same with my homeboy Mike. We also used to play that, but we have a really bad spending problem, and whenever Booster Gold bundles would come out, we would buy like a thousand dollars worth of shit. So, and we're not even, we're not even, we don't even have that much money. So, there, there he is, actually. Here's my homeboy, Dark Horizons 23. His actually name is Dark Horizons 18 um, on PSN. He has a lot of a lot of good, me and, him, me and this guy really have a lot of fun on, no matter what game we play, we're actually going to be checking out, um, we do play Fortnite, we do, he is going to be getting, um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, I already have it, um, I've been trying to get him a little persuaded to check that out, um, it's a really good game, and it's, it's a game that you have to have someone else to play it with, otherwise you get bored as with any other solo game. So, yeah, let's, let's check this out a little bit. We have our VIP landing pad up here. And it's cool because all the foundations down here and the pillars and whatnot actually let us bring that out without having to pillar it down and, and start putting weird pillars all over the place. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to experiment with that a little on, or a little later on, pardon my French, um, a little later on in the game, try and figure out uh, how exactly that's going to work. I don't quite understand a lot of the snapping mechanics in this game yet, and I've been playing it for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and check this tower out for you guys, and then maybe give you guys a bird's eye view on the top of the village, then go check it out. We got, we have a little clinic, we have a restaurant, we have a boating dock, we have a, it's still in the works, but we have like a dino doctor area. It's and why is your head sticking out of the wall there, Kyle? We, we made an area that would specialize in dino eggs. Fertilized dino eggs. And if someone comes to you, and we're going to try and, and implement a, a form of currency in the game, right now it's kind of torn between the ungodly heavy black pearls or the extremely hard to get element. Um, we're not sure yet. We do know that... Um, PC is getting their little silver coin currency in a mod. It would be extremely beneficial to the whole game if they could come up with a currency like that. I'm actually kind of surprised they did not implement gold and silver ore into the game as a form of basic currency. I'm really surprised that never happened. I really thought for sure there was in watching videos because the metal ore, how it's gold, I thought that was gold. And, and, and silver. I didn't think that was just a really rich resource for metal. I never would have thought that. And I was kind of disappointed when I seen that happen. So, we, we got this little area. And you can see the fireplace sticking out there, and I'll show you that. It's a, a little VIP glass bubble. It's kind of cool. Um, this is his tapa jar or tape jar, however you prefer to pronounce tomato tomato. And this is mine. We, again, admin commanded a lot of this stuff. Um, in case you can't tell, oops, in case you can't tell by the level of some of the things, which that's not really that much, but I mean, we have some, some pretty ridiculous levels on some stuff. That one was actually a tame 
from uh, Mikey or Mike, is Mike as well. And we have two mics on the server. It's going to be kind of confusing for you guys. Bear with me. Um, there's the stairs. Let's go check out the little VIP uh, little rest area, if you will, that kind of overlooks what we have going on. And again, light switches in here to turn on the fancy lights. And I, to be completely honest, don't even remember at all. I don't even remember what the what the pin code is. I'm terrible. Okay. This is our little VIP area. It's nothing special. It would be nice if we can get like a tutor bar in here eventually. You know, if mods ever freaking hit console decently. Which, I, honestly, I could go on and on about that. On my opinion. On mods that should be in here. And I, personally, I'm sick of maps. When you pick a map, you have to restart from the bottom and everything. You bring your character over, maybe. But nothing is the same. It's the same building materials. It's the same dinos, except for Ragnarok. Obviously added, what, I want to say three or four new dinos. That's it. Everything, and they merged Scorched Earth items in. It's still the same. There's nothing really new for us here. And I'm honestly getting disappointed in that. They're focusing too much on maps than bringing us like item bundles and and where's the new stuff where's the new armors the new weapons the new building materials the new furniture where is all of that they are they're putting that on the back burner and i don't even know if they have plans i know they they are planning to bring structures plus over to console that they're trying to implement that instead of it being an official mod they actually want that to be part of their main game and I've seen so many YouTubers talk about they're not going to bring a lot of these mods. And I agree, they're not. They're not going to bring hundreds of mods over because porting's not an easy thing. You have to reach out to the original developer and have them work on console for a different platform than they're comfortable, platform, platform than they're comfortable with. And, and just to think, and I'll, I will join your party here in a minute, just to think that someone could... Oh, it's so easy. You can just do it. No, it's it's really not that easy. Granted, it's your content, and you just have to format it for a platform that you're not familiar with. So you have to collaborate with people who are specialized in coding with, uh, in this example, not just... Uh, it's not just a console. It's You have two different consoles to deal with. You have Xbox, which is a Microsoft, and you have... Obviously, PlayStation 4 is the Sony. So you're working with two different types of coding and two different types of formatting. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. So instead of just walking down there, I'm going to go ahead and see if I'm not fat enough. Because I have a lot of freaking weight on me. And this guy can So let's just go check out the... Uh, I'm obviously going to be way too heavy for this elevator, so I'm just going to show you guys... Um, what we have going on. I haven't put any tech lights in here yet, but I do want to like put tech lights all the way up this thing because I think that would be just awesome. Have it set up to the outer light pin code. So we have some areas, and this is where we are on the map. I do have my GPS. It is actually, we figured it out on land. We were up at the top of the entrance, and we were like, oh my god, dude, that's a big drop off. We almost just died. Is this like a cave? Like a fucking. Pardon my French again, guys. I'm gonna be swearing a lot. Ooh, don't, don't shoot me. Uh, we we're like, oh my god, is that like a, like a, like a dungeon? What is this? I was like, no, there'd be like a leg. There's no leg, and it's all open, and you can see in it. Like, there's no way it's a dungeon, and, and or uh, uh, like a cave. And, and up, and we have greenhouse too. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love that. And that, that wyvern was actually not modded in. Mike actually went into the wyvern trench and, and found the egg and raised it. Um. I'll give you guys a level. So he actually did not obviously end the command this, but it it just looks cool with our greenhouse lighting, lighting on top of it, and almost gives it at first, without that wyvern there, looking back from the teleporter way over there in the main area, it almost looked Halloween styled without even trying to be. Like all the other lights were basic and then it was just this. And these lights I don't believe are set up for the other one, for the, the whole village, the city lights is what I call them. 
Um, so I turned all the lights off, and this was just glowing ominously green in the background. And then Mike got the idea, dude, what if we put the what if we put the poison wyvern on top of it just to give it the official Halloween's coming up, you know, give it the official spooky, spooky little green wyvern gonna eat you. So that's that. Um, the greenhouse actually. Uh, I want to give you guys a little a little tour of that. Obviously, these metal reservoirs actually just gave it the official look. It just looks so much more official above and below of a greenhouse. Just storing water up there and having, having it spray. And they're actually placed right on... I just laid it... If I can down here, so good. I just placed it all down right on top of... I placed down all the pipes right on the ceiling. And then I just ran it right off down here, right into the water. And it looked really nice. I think it looked kinda semi professional as far as arch architecture goes. We have um a lot of the vegetables, we have some fruit in here, and we have narco berries. Those this whole back room here is all narco berries. These are all vegetables and fruits. And they are all, they're not all at obviously greenhouse effect efficiency. Obviously you're in a cave, you're not going to get the best lighting. But what is touching the lighting is we are, we are getting a 300% greenhouse efficiency down here on some things, just not everything. And what better way to better uh, run your greenhouse without having a little greenhouse, uh, almost like a little storage area slash, um, and if you can't get these, obviously, you know, tech generators are going to be a problem. Even if you uh, admin command yourself a lot of elements, which is what we ended up having to do. We are going to slowly convert everything over to a gasoline generator because, let's just be realistic here, keeping up on dozens of tech generators is going to be ridiculous. But we have dung beetles in here, and they're set to wander, and we gather up all the feces from everything that likes to just drop it everywhere. Um, and we drop it in here and they make the fertilizer. And it's really nice because they make so much fertilizer because everything just drops feces everywhere so much. And it, it's quite convenient when it comes to, like I said, maintaining a greenhouse. Just put it right next to it. Give them a, a dark room if you want. I, I thought it was kind of creepy, personally at nighttime, having it so dark in here that you can't see anything, and you just hear little insect legs creeping around, it's so crazy dark. So, that being said, let's go check out our restaurant and dock. The inside of the restaurant is not completely furnished, but the kitchen is. The kitchen is a fully working kitchen. This is Mike's boat. It's, it's just, we were just messing around. It's not like he's actually gonna rock this, or that he, you know, he's proud of, well, we are kind of proud of our boats. Can't even lie. But this is just, you know, we put down, or I placed down some, some metal motorboats, and, and we kind of just were fooling around, and we put something together real quick. But, by any means, this is not, we're not going to make a tutorial video on this. This is not, like, something that, you know, has a real use, other than, I mean, these boats will outrun the lead Sithicus anyway, but, I mean, this is just something where, hey, if you try and eat my boat, you're getting shot in the face. Period. I did have anglerfish. Oh, there we are, anglerfish. But again, I'll, I, I promise you guys, we are we did not use those to get those flip pearls. We also have a dungle over there. No reason. So that's a little dock area um, with a little little room, little uh, little shed, if you will for another generator that we can't afford. <laughs> and these guys are here not just for show. These guys actually have a purpose and it's spoiling meat. They're an herbivore. They're cool looking. And I don't believe they have any any meat spoiling in them at all at the moment. So they're just kind of chilling. And this is our the actual restaurant and I'll just walk into it. It actually comes furnished with a bathroom with usable toilets and 
we like to keep the doors open, not closed. But, and I'm disappointed with the mirrors too, by the way. Just yet, you can't see them. But it's not a mirror unless you break it, and then you can see the reflective glass, which is kind of stupid if you have it. But we have, we're going to be putting tables and chairs in here, just like we did out here. Well, not me. I didn't place these. Uh, I only might did. And I put that little area together just because, you know, chill with, the, chill with the crew. Tell your stories about your uh, your boss runs or your cave runs or whatever you want to tell your story to the, the guys and gals about. This obviously had to be the, the cooking pot. Obviously had to be placed due to the fact that it creates recipes. And what better restaurant, or what would a restaurant be than, you know, bland cooked meat and whatnot. So we made recipes. Receptionist desk, order your food. Back here is where you'll start making the food. And we have a thing for recipes, and including our, our custom recipes and drinks. And, you know, it's bar and grill style. Got some, got some beer going. We've been drinking a lot. Sorry. Um, we got the fridges back here, properly labeled for easy access to your, and this is, I believe, is your finished, finished product. Um, keeping it, keeping it in the fridge for obvious reasons. And chem bench for making the, the harder to get things. You know, we want to get exper, excuse me, we want to get experimental with our recipe crafting. Like we want people to come in and say. I want the most expensive dish you have, and not have it be, I'll give you a piece of meat. No. So we're getting a little creative with it. We went ahead and, like some of it takes, like here I'll try and show you an example, like for a beverage, you know, berries and whatnot, or a hundred, uh, I can't even pronounce that fruit ever, but the lemon, if you will, and then for the food, we have rare flowers and rare mushrooms and then vegetables on top of meat. I mean, we want to experiment and make it a little more realistic. Like, obviously, the veggies, you're going to be eating those. But, you know, some of the, the rare mushrooms, you know, obviously for the mushroom purpose, but the flower just for aesthetic pleasure, if you will, just to go with the flow, okay? So... Uh, this for a fancy dish layout and again this is not furnished inside but we will eventually be getting that together sometime way down the road but we've just been really busy trying to spread out and and get things together and oh, there they are that's Goofa is Mikey's brother um they're chilling playing uh playing arc today this is our bank has the glass pane roof going all the way around it just to make it look good. This is our our kind of like our dino doctor area. It's it's an area where you can go and adopt an egg. It's got three receptionist windows and back here it's got all of the refrigerators that will obviously then hold fertilized eggs. And these are just what I've picked up from trying to experiment with. I actually started out experimenting with recipes trying to get the tape jar to crank out more eggs and I realized okay I'd have to use the fertilized egg in the recipe and not just an unfertilized egg which I already had in the recipe so I was like ah eh, screw it I'll just stick them in here and um yeah eventually get this area up to par with people who enjoy dino breeding and want to donate eggs to the community they can stick it here or you know because me and me and my buddy Mike we're going to be really occupied elsewhere running our shops and trying to fix people's stuff since we have so many resources. But in this bank, this is also unfurnished, but this will end up being like a free consultation room. Hey, you need a loan, you need some, you need to make, you know, set up your account, here you go. Um, and I'll get into that here um, in a few minutes, but this is the reception area slash waiting room, also unfinished. But you'll come in here, you'll say what you want they'll get it for you. Back here is the vault bank area and as of right now we've settled for elements and each and every one of these is uh, 150 out of 150. Completely 
filled up vaults of elements, every single one. And it's not going to stay like that too long, obviously. We are going to tap into a little bit of this to start filling back up some generators, much like this one, at a great number, I will add. Um, and then what i like to do is, I would like to set up some personalized vaults where if you want, like let's say we start having a PvP event come into play, which we might talk about later on, having some friendly, you know, just a little PvP event, maybe like a little horse race where you can lance each other off your mounts, because you can't do that obviously with PvP enabled, but you know, we'll be doing some fun events eventually, once, once we just get caught up and get get caught up with ourselves or we're satisfied with what our building status is we're satisfied with you know we've ran all the caves we've explored the whole map we've taken care of everything there's still part of this map that hasn't even came out yet i mean we're going to be getting into all a bunch of cool things and i would like to you know take you guys on the journey with us that would be awesome to get that you know, situated and figured out. But that is what we have going for ourselves right now. Just me and Mike put this together. And obviously with admin commands, it's still going to take some time to get these figured out. We stumbled upon this as a bare empty cave. There was not a thing in here at all. But what we liked about it right away was that there was no dinos in here. Granted, the occasional dino falls from up there if it's chasing something. It'll fall down here and that'll get messed up. But really quickly, might as well um, come back in here. I actually have that. Um, we actually call it a chicken tickler. Don't know why, but it kind of looks like Freddy. So I named it Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Um, I'm gonna grab this. I actually had him out for a reason. But, uh, later on today, um, as soon as my homeboy Dark gets on, Dark, aka Mike, is um, you know we're gonna we're gonna put together a nice little log cabin. Somewhere. Oh, well, there's a frozen lake. We found the frozen lake. You guys probably like, wow, you guys are dork. We finally discovered the frozen lake, and I can show you guys where that is later on today, possibly in a separate a separate video. Um, I'm not trying to make this thing extremely long, but you know, it's going to be a gameplay video, so why not? So, oh, I actually had a mountain to get wood. We're going to take a look back over here, because I believe I totally left off on this. Um, Necessity wise, you know, my house on the hills, I can show you guys that, or I'll just put some pictures somewhere in a comment or something. But I can show you guys that. We have a coal plant. A coal plant makes charcoal. Pretty simple. Pretty important for gunpowder. Um, it's just four forges, four industrial forges in a building with some vaults, and they crank out charcoal pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's just for that. We have an oil refinery now. Obviously, you can't refine oil, but this is the main building that stores all of the oil that our oil pumps get. And I placed it, or me and me and my buddy placed it here, built it here, because it's almost center around all of the oil pumps. And we're going to kind of try and take over this region of oil, which I think we already did. We already ended up taking most of it over with oil. And then if anyone wants some oil, hey, I need some oil, and I want to go smash a bunch of rocks, you know you think, you know, I could possibly trade for some oil. Yes, we have a whole, you can you can even rent the oil machine itself. We'll unlock that specified oil machine for X amount of time, and you can get all the oil that's in there. You just gotta pay us. Pay us up front, and we'll leave that unlocked for you for X amount of time. A week, a month, real lifetime. Figure it out. We'll work with you. Currency, trade, community, work together is the idea here. It's not like, I'm going to be greedy and take all your shit. No. It's, we need a form of trade. We need currency. Because sometimes that never happens. You forget. And nothing ever happens. Plus, we just kind of want to get cool with the role-playing idea of, hey, I got this. I'll give it to you for this. Cool. So that's that. And they, they are a tribe, but they, we are allied tribes. So they have their own teleporter here somewhere. So they're coming in to check it out. Um, we have a paint shop. And that actually has a paint shop storage. Paint shop storage is not a storage for paint supplies. It's 
a large dino storage. I just named it something weird. Don't know why. But it's it's a large dino storage. It's got a lot of tech uh, tech behemoth tapes going around it. So but the paint shop is obviously self explanatory. You go there, you can paint stuff. It's got a lot of paints, it's got a lot of spray painters, a lot of paint brushes, and it's got an area right off the teleporter where you can paint a dino or a dino saddle. But it's got all paints located there. It's got we have a castle pad. We took over the castle a little bit. I'd like to kind of make the castle. Um, I have an idea for it, put it that way. And it might be kind of cool. It gives us a reason to actually go inside the castle. No, it's not going to be for PvP. It's going to be a farm of sorts. So I'll get into that in a later video. Way later, like whenever I get to it. <laughs> um, and we have our HQ. Our HQ is not our HQ anymore. The village here is. And HQ was our original building. It's the building we first started out on. And it started to lag so bad going in there that we just said, okay, we need to disperse everything. We had everything in one. I mean, it was storage. It was paints. It was crafting, there was so much going on there, dino braiding, I mean, it was ridiculous. There was so much going on, including a greenhouse, that it was just, no. We had to start taking supplies out, moving dinos elsewhere, and for a while, actually, this bottom one is our silica pearl farm now, which is actually where we get our silica pearl farm, but that was the what was labeled as a dino graveyard. It was where we put all of our dinos that were at HQ and you know we have so much going on we dispersed it out over the map now but it all went to the dino graveyard and I say that because during my time away from it some dinos kind of starved themselves oops they were admin commanded anyway so I, I, I'm not worried about it I can get more tame more later on down the road but yeah dino graveyard is history now so it's a pro farm and it's really cool actually Cool idea. We have an Area 149 level 5 clearance only. Now what that means is you're not going to be able to teleport there unless you are uh, considered an admin of the tribe. And that this is our dino breeding area. This is where we breed dinos for their eggs. And it's kind of impressive in my opinion. We wanted to make it bigger and better than it was but the building limit punched us right in the mouth. We couldn't do that so we had to restructure the whole thing and 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 re-theorize our plans for it. It's still cool, but it's not as cool as what we would have wanted it to be. We have our right, uh, this is just a teleporter just to get into the wyvern trench easily to grab an egg and then if you have a wyvern following you trying to eat your soul, you can just run and hit this teleporter quick as hell. You can even teleport the wyvern if it lands, which I doubt it will, but if it does land, it can walk on the teleporter. You can have a friend run around, if it's following you, you can have a friend run around and teleport it somewhere away from you kind of cool and you can kind of teleport it into the dino breeding area because of how we set it, the whole thing up so and it's actually been tested you can do it and it's kind of cool dangerous but cool um i guess you could even troll somebody hey i'm going to send over one of my dinos why don't you go over there and and, and get it off the pad for me so i can move this other big dino and and yes and you end up teleporting a frickin' a frickin' wyvern over there, all hostile, eats his face. Don't do that, guys. Don't be rude. Okay, so this is my homeboy Mike's uh, Dark Horizons, his little tech cave. And by little, I mean not so little. It's fucking awesome. It is great. He does a, really, a lot of cool things that blew me away. Pretty cool stuff. He can get into that. I don't want to ruin it for him. We have our, this is our most recent. This one, we named it Highland Farm Co. Because obviously it's in the Highlands. But we made, it's a silk fiber and wool farm. We have some Ovis there. We have, uh, that's where our mantis will usually stay because there's little purple flowers everywhere that have silk in them that you can get with the mantis super easily. You can get thousands of it. Um, and they also get fiber from the same plants, which is hence the fiber stuff so far. So, 
We have that going there. Is there any area I am missing? I think that kind of about covers those areas. Um, and then you get that leg. Not load again. Crap. So, uh, that is just what we have going on. Sorry, it took... I went on a, a, a talking spree there. My apologies. Um, just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, what you can do. And I can even go to a couple other places, just a couple of them, just to show you guys that they're not just a teleporter with a fancy name I'm trying to show you guys hey we got all this stuff all right i'm just trying to show you guys what you can do if you put your mind to it and this game is kind of creative so i figured why not what the hell so in case you can't tell already that's how you get a lot of your silver farm or a lot of silver pearls and i'll get into that i made this little cool bridge and these these guys should have been that's disappointing these guys were on the wall but i guess when they load in from being idle for so long they just kind of give up on grabbing the wall but those guys were on the wall some little tele uh, not teleporting these um, transport moths those are not butterflies guys those are moths um, I think they might be a butterfly actually I have no idea so I like that a lot but this is that one's not supposed to be in there so he didn't bug out. I, I put him there. He was over in the community. But this... I put this together really quickly. As soon as I found out that the phoenix poops silica pearls, I was like, I have to have it. I have to farm them. And me and my homeboy Mike put this together. My homeboy Mike mainly put these in here because I had to go AFK for some reason. I can't remember. And yeah. Put them in through obvious hatches and put them in the corners set to passive and ignore group whistle. So they're not gonna go flying everywhere and go crazy, but if you really don't wanna wait here for them to poop out one every so often, just put a point into their stamina and they're gonna poop like crazy. I was getting upwards of, oh, let me see, let me see here. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna throw you guys a bogus number. Granted, these guys are, you know, admin commanded in have a high thing um i upgraded their health so much that's why it looks like they're dying uh, i was doing their health first but the health was so slow that i would eventually come back here and just stick a point in the stamina and they would drop so many silica pearls that each one would be a massive pile that would touch the middle walkway here and i'm not exaggerating i'll i'll upload a video later on and show you guys when i when i need silica pearls again i will do that they're pretty useful in the game as far as making desert cloth and electronics so when we run that stock out we'll obviously come back and i'll do a little quick video just a quick one on me putting a point in just one point in their stamina and i'll walk outside and i'll forward fast the video for like 30 40 seconds and then come back inside and i'll even put off my phone uh i'll try and like I'll probably just record it on my phone, actually, and, like, get my watch right in front of my TV and just do it that way, just so you guys can see that I'm not forward-fasting it for, like, an hour and a half. I'm just forward-fasting it for, like, 30 seconds to a minute, and I'll come inside, and you're, you're going to see all these silica pearls, and you're going to get upwards, I want to say, like, 20, 30,000 a pickup. Ridiculous pearls. Like, each pile will be 4,500. 4,500 times all of these fucking things. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to look at a lot. And we filled up, for example, we filled up, um, we were using these guys. We named them Transport and whatnot. SP for Silica Pearl Transporter. And we had these guys so filled up with Silica Pearls that I filled up both. We have, we have three of them. We had three. One died. Dire Wolves got it, but... Um, now we have two. We had all three of them at one point filled up. That's 300 dino slots of silica pearls alone filled up within 15 minutes, including ourselves, teleporting them over to the shop and burning two dinos with, um, 
Actually, you know, I think one died with silica pearls on it, but we ended up picking them up. But needless to say, we ended up converting or utilizing silica pearls into electronics to fill up our electronics vault. But we still have three vaults filled, 350 slot vaults filled with silica pearls. And I still ha obviously have some on him that I gave up on because I didn't know what to do with because I filled up our electronics vault as well. But there's that really quickly. Um, well, that wasn't really quickly actually. There's that. Um, let's check out our. Well, actually, let's check out this building. Screw it. Let's check out Area 149. Um, it's gonna take a minute to load in here, including myself, because we can just see example-wise on um, why. But the railings just take a while to load in. And this is it. This is all it is. Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Um, now you can kind of see more on what I was talking about. Awkward. So, this took us... Honestly, it didn't take us that long. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. But, we were going to, we were going to go hard in the paint on this. We really were, but what well, we still did. But it just didn't end up being what we wanted it to be. We were kind of disappointed in the end. I'm going to do way too heavy for this elevator. Actually, I'm just going to leave you guys with a teaser for now. There is stuff put up there. It's just, I want to make a video on the braiding part of that. All this video is almost an hour long as it is. If you guys even stayed to watch the whole thing, awesome. If not, totally understandable. Um, so, I think that's it for today. I'll probably upload another video later on of the building of the log cabin that me and my buddy Mike might put together. And if you guys would like to start your own build in a location like this, I will leave the map and coordinates on the screen as I sign off and say, if you continued to watch this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you liked anything in this video and you thought, hey, that was a really cool idea, or, or if you think that your ideas are cool, but the fact you didn't actually build them and use admin commands, it reduces your coolness. So I'm going to dislike your video. I don't care what you do. To be honest, just thought I'd show you guys some cool stuff. And I appreciate any feedback that you guys may or may not leave. Um, I will get better at YouTubing. I hope to eventually lose the stutter. Sometimes I stutter. I hope to lose that eventually and maybe, you know, have some videos of us actually putting stuff like this together and obviously something like this would be a several part episode it wouldn't be all in one cause that this took us hours and hours i actually don't think we finished this for a couple days but i thought it was gonna take us a week but no it took us a couple days and there's still a lot of things that could be done to it but again building limits dang it ruined that with all of these fences. We could just take these fences out and put walls there would be easier. But it looks so much cooler with it gives you like a Jurassic a futuristic Jurassic Park theme. You just you spawn in, in a cage and there's dinos just walking all over the place around you and and I just thought that would be really cool for that to, for that to be a thing. And yeah. So, thank you guys so much if you stuck around and watched the whole thing, or even if you skimmed through it, found some things you liked. Please hit that like button. It, it's going to go a long way for me to get started on this YouTube channel here. I'll get better at it. I'll get shorter at it. I'll figure it all out eventually. I hope to get a computer and edit some stuff. For right now, I have to do um, edit, edited videos on my phone um, or my tablet, which isn't easy. So, thanks again. Have a great day.
this is Shao signing off for the day, potentially, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much.